I think this is Overwatch's first double XP event, and if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but either way, it's a big deal. Starting June 8th and going till June 12th, we're going to have a chance to earn double XP in Overwatch. Now, this is a huge deal, not only because it comes during the anniversary event, which we've already talked about in my last video, but it also comes at a time where people are wanting a better way to earn new boxes, and a double XP weekend is a great way to do that. Not only does it give you... Uh, ideally 200% chance to earn that loot box to earn that item it also puts you in a position to where I, I'm gonna go finish my placements this weekend because I'm gonna get so much XP it also puts me in a position to where I'm gonna grind this weekend because I want those those items and I'm not gonna have to pay for them so this is good guy blizzard really coming through and being being a compromisation factor you know they're really compromising here they're saying okay you can play the game but at the same time, you can still buy these loot boxes. They're really compromising here with the fan base, and that's awesome. Now, the XP bonus will not include every single kind of XP. It will include almost every single kind of XP. As you can see here, most types of XP are affected by this double XP. The time spent in a match, completing a match, completing consecutive matches, winning a match, backfilling a match in progress, and earning medals will all earn double XP. The only one that will the and they will stack with the group XP too, which you get plus twenty percent if you're playing with the group. The only experience that will not affect is the first one of the day, which will remain at fifteen hundred XP, which is a lot, and that sucks. And I but I see why they do that because if not, you would have people who would get their first one of the day during a competitive game and literally get seventy five percent of the level right there. Um, that's pretty insane because you can already get around seven thousand uh, XP per level, or you can really get seven thousand XP if you get the first one of the day and do really good in a competitive match. It's happened to me a few times. You do have to perform, but it is possible. And double that is obviously about fourteen thousand, so that's most of the level right there. Not to mention that there's other ways to get it to that much too. So I can see why they keep the first one of the day at a stagnant fifteen hundred, but it's really awesome that they. In increased everything else and everything is 2x so time spent a match completing a match and consecutive matches are all huge because you spend if you play an entire game um all the way through where you complete it which is you get two xp right there and that's double that obviously and then if you play like, three or four matches in a row like usually people do that's awesome that gives you other stacks with the xp and if you play all day you can probably get up to around six thousand xp per game which would be awesome usually you're in around three to four thousand it'd be awesome if you can get close to six thousand with this double xp I and mean, maybe even up to eight thousand on the high end of things and i really want to talk about how this is good guy blizzard coming through you know we talked to the on um, wednesday about how jeff kaplan kind of misled us to an extent saying that they're talking about it and they didn't really come up with a solution but this is a great way to do that now my only question here is how how are these going to stack up as far as more than once you know are they going to come back or is this going to be a one-time thing it's the one-time thing that really does suck but maybe they do a thing where it's like once a month um maybe like the last friday or the last weekend of every month or the first weekend of every month whatever um would be a double xp weekend that'd be really cool that would really increase player numbers and that would give you a specific time to play that would give you a specific time to play a specific time where a few times are low all that kind of jazz that would actually be perfect because you can predict that you can know when people will be on you know when your friends will be on you know when those people that you want to play with may be on from other time zones or whatever that would be awesome i would really appreciate that do i think it will happen not at this point i don't think it'll happen at this point i do wish it would happen because i think that'd be a really great way to kind of bring the community together and play the game that we all know and love but i don't think that will happen at least right now uh, maybe they have to figure out like the reaction to this double XP, how it works, which I assume the reaction will almost universally be praise, um, unless they screw something up, which I don't think they really do. I think they're just really making a gesture to the community saying that, hey, we actually are listening. Um, and they really did announce this in the wrong order as far as dance emotes and the double XP goes. You know, they kind of talked about dance emotes first, and they said they're not, they're not going to happen, they're not going to stay uh, after the anniversary is over. And then they came out with this. So I think if they would have done that a different way. That would have been a little bit better. But that's besides the point. Uh, this is going to be great. I am really excited to see how this turns out come June 13th. And um, I want to see where everyone's opinions on it are, are after the free week, the Double XP weekend is over. The other thing you can think of is the free weekends too. Because they've had free weekends in the past. Every few months they have one. And usually during an event. But uh, they usually have a free weekend. Or a, yeah, free weekend at some point or another. And it's across all consoles. 
um, all PCs, you can just play and have fun. And I don't actually know how that exactly works because I bought the game. But it's, to me, how it works, how it sounds it works is that you get the game, you can download it, you can play it, and then once the weekend's over, you can't play anymore. I don't know if you keep your level or anything like that, um, but it's that's really cool. I think that's a really cool thing for Blizzard to do. And not that free weekends are new or anything. Uh, Steam really pioneered that back in the day. But um, no, so Overwatch has done that before, and with this double XP weekend, it'd be really cool to see uh, week one of a month is double XP, week two is free weekend, you have two weeks off, then week two, and then week one of the next month is double XP. That'd be really cool to see. Again, do I think they'll do that? I really don't, but I think it'd be a really awesome idea, something to strive for in the future uh, with the upcoming year of Overwatch. With that, my name is Ben Zistro. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, like, dislike, dislike, go in the comments down below and tell me why you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.